Welcome back guys and today we are unboxing the Samsung Fold 4. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Oh, look at that. It's so clean. That's beautiful and it's so thin. It just feels so premium. Well, let's let's open this up. Oh boy. Ooh. So they got a little notch for the camera in here. I don't know if there's anything behind there. It doesn't feel like it, but it feels like it's protected. It's padded. So it turns out this part actually does come out revealing a type C to type C along with an instruction manual and a tool to remove your SIM card. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's so beautiful. How do I, how do I grab it? Just grab the flip. Oh, ho, 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 ho. I'm so worried I'm going to drop it and just shatter it before I can even use it. Let's see how we peel this off. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my God, that feels so solid. Look at that, oh my gosh. Oh, we're gonna do our first fold. Our first fold with a fold phone. Oh my gosh. It's like against human instinct to do that. And as you can see, you now have that little fold line in the center. Um, when it came, it looked like it wasn't really there, but um, you know, I folded it once, so now it is there. But, oh my gosh, there's something so satisfying about that. And just look at that color. Oh, the Samsung exclusive color is beautiful. Wow, look at that. That's crazy. Oh, this is the rest of the box. So it doesn't look like, is there, is there anything? There might not be anything else in the pack, actually. So I got rid of all the clutter, and now all we have is the phone. Oh, oh my gosh, that is just beautiful. Well, let's turn it on. And it looks like the power button is also a fingerprint scanner, which is very cool. But let's turn this on. Turning on? It might, it might be dead. Maybe I'm pushing the wrong button. Let's try. Oh, I think I was pushing the wrong button. Oh, still might be dead. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh my gosh. So it's showing up here and it's showing up on the back too. So, oh my gosh, look at that. No camera behind the screen camera. Oh my gosh. You can kind of see it up there. Maybe you can't through the camera, but you can kind of see the, the under screen camera up there and then you can see it's not on back here but if we close it no no it's not going to change over oh you got to push the power button look at that that is a very 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 slim phone front uh hopefully that will be usable for most times because it feels like it'd be a little inconvenient to use something that's just that skinny but samsung knows best i guess so we'll try it out and see how we like that but of course, I'm going to use the internal display to set up my phone. So I'm going to go ahead and we're going to just quickly set this up and then we'll check it out a little bit. So I pretty much just skipped through everything real quickly so that we could check it out. But it's all set up. So let's push finish. And that's what it launches into. Oh, got the sound. So that looks like a pretty standard Samsung device. Let's check it. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Oh, I opened the camera. Oh, I'm taking, oh, this is the front facing camera. Let me take a photo with the front facing camera. That doesn't look terrible. Like for a front facing Samsung camera, those are usually garbage. Um, but that doesn't look terrible. 
Now let's try the back camera. Um, for this, I'm just gonna take a photo of me again so you have something to compare it to. And luckily I found this mode on here where you can turn on the front display when you try to take a photo so you can you know, take a selfie like that. So let me go ahead and turn that on. It's right there, you probably see it. And now you can see, you can see it right there. The only thing is they don't have a button you can press to take the photo. So you have to remember where it is over here. So it's right there and use that. So there is the main camera. Um, definitely looks high quality. Camera I really want to test is that in under display camera. Look at that. That's not, not too bad, but I'm wondering if in lower light that will look like crap. Cause I mean, it, it's definitely not the highest quality photo, but you know, for an under display, you know, under display camera, that's not too bad, not too bad at all. So now that we've tested out the cameras, you know, I didn't test out the wide lens or the other lens, but I'll do that in a separate video, test out all the cameras. I wanna see how it displays a video. So we're gonna open YouTube and we're gonna, of course, let's check out my channel. So that's how YouTube is pulling up just like that. So there's my video. Let's see what happens when we turn it. So it's weird. It looks like that's actually how it shows up when you turn it. Let me try making this full screen and see what happens. Oh, I tapped in another video. So I was able to make it disappear with the little button down here that controls screen size. Um, oh, I'm going all over the place. Dude, that's weird how YouTube shorts show up. Look at that. That's weird. It feels like it's gonna cut off part of the video. So like, look at the ratio. It's, it's really weird on the outer display for videos. Let me see if I can make it bigger. I can't, that's as big as I can make it. So it turns out I was able to zoom on both screens. I was just mistaken because the suit was messing with my touch, so it didn't sense it well enough. But honestly, I don't think I missed much because it's such a weird ratio that it cuts off so much of the video when you zoom in. Whenever you're watching a video, you're gonna be wasting a lot of screen, but that's definitely still better than watching it on a phone. You know, it's a little bit bigger, a little bit nicer. So uh, let's check out the speakers real quick. Here, I'm gonna pull up, um, I'm gonna pull up a song real quick. Okay. So that's got some nice 3D sound, like, cause it comes out this side and this side. So let's see what happens when we close it. Oh, when we close it a little bit, it pulls up like the comments and everything, description, all that. And then you play the video up there. So that's kind of cool. Ooh, that's got some really good sound to it. Dude, it's almost like a, it's almost as powerful as a speaker pull up to the party you can play some fire music yeah um i think that is it for now i will be testing this out finding out more about this phone and then i will be doing a review on it in the future so thanks for watching guys i hope you enjoyed